guys. Um, I um, just wanted to give my um, take on um, our transfers um, for the summer and um, which areas I feel we should um, strengthen. And um, first off, I start uh, start on the back. Um, I de definitely feel that we should get at least a couple of defenders in, at least at least two. Um, I think if um, Van Gaal doesn't at least get two, um, at least at least one one centre back, probably Hummels or um, someone someone some quality centre half, because we've lost two centre halves. Uh, to be honest, I just haven't seen enough of. Um, Phil Jones, Chris Smalling, and Johnny Evans in the last year or so to feel that we're gonna we're gonna um, gonna um, be able to hold up a good defence this in the coming season. Um, goalkeeper doesn't need changing; he's done um, reasonably well. Um, and um, yeah, the um, the two centre halves, um, the best pairing. I I don't really don't really know the best two pairing that we've got at the moment. Probably um, I mean, most people want to see um, Chris Morning and Phil Jones there, but I mean, Phil Jones always getting injured. He's just clumsy shit. Um, he always seems to pick up some sort of knock or something. He never seems to get a run of games. Chris Morning seems to get injured a bit as well. And, um, there's uh, Raphael at the right back who's always getting injured as well. Um, who I don't act to be honest. I don't think he's actually quite good enough, Raphael. Um, he's okay if you've got three other good quality defenders there and you've got someone in front of him on the, um, the right hand side but truth to be told I don't think his defending is all that great he's not too bad going forward sometimes but I think last year he was pretty awful to be honest um, the previous season before that I thought he was pretty good I thought he had a quality season in Ferguson's last season but for this season just gone I just don't think he actually had, was quite good enough uh, Patrice Everett staying for another season, so um, I don't know if that means we're now not going to get Luke Shaw in, which I hope that doesn't mean so, because at 33, this will probably be Everett's last season at Old Trafford, and I'm hoping that he, he can uh, play enough games along with Luke Shaw to, to enable him, him to get enough experience and learn off him to be a quality left-back in the future. If we get Luke Shaw, if we miss out on him, I'll be pretty disappointed. Um, then next we need um, prob probably um, at least one quality winger. I don't know who, who, who he wants to get, um, but I would say a good quality winger that you need is there. Um, at least at least one, because uh, last season Nani, Ashley Young and Valencia were all pretty damn poor. I know um, Ashley Young scored a couple of worldies. Um, in a couple of games, but overall he's pretty, pretty awful. Um, Nani just didn't play enough games and has, the last couple of seasons has been pretty awful. I mean, his first couple of seasons at Manchester United, he was quality. He scored some quality goals, um, played really well, but now I think he's, he's, he's just not showing it anymore. Um, I know injuries haven't helped, but uh, and then there's Valencia. Valencia didn't really have a very good season last year at all. Um, I mean, he he, he um, can still perform. Um, I think better than the others, but to be honest, I think um, we could improve in that area. And then there's um, of course Yanazai, who um, who who did have a quality season um, for his debut season, but um, we just got to hope that he progresses as well as we think he's going to progress. I mean. Uh, there's always that chance that at a young age he might not actually get any better. I mean, problems happen with Nani and players like that. I mean, they don't always improve to how how they expect. So fingers crossed he will get he will get good enough. Um, and um, then we need probably at least one or two solid midfielders in there. Um, someone like uh, Paul Pogba. It's a shame we let him go. Someone along that mould. Um, Possibly William Carvalho, he's been looking really good, good over this last season. Um, someone along those lines, um, really we could do with a Roy Keane and a Paul Scholes in there, but um, we're not going to get them sort of players easy, are we? Um, they don't come around very often. Um, so a, a couple of a couple of good quality players like that. I mean, um, 
doesn't look like we're going to sign any of these Bayern Munich um, players. I mean, if we've got Robin on the wings, I mean, uh, he's a bit of a diver and um, a bit of a knob, but um, he's actually a quality player, and I'll be happy if we got him. Um, up, up front, I don't think we really need to change a lot. I know that Hernandez might leave, and there's talk of Welbeck leaving, and also um, one matter may be leaving, which oh, I don't expect all three to leave, but if one of them was to leave, maybe we could strengthen, but with um, James Wilson having a good good season, this season just gone by, and um, scoring a couple of couple of quality goals in the um, in the game um, not long against um, go against um, Hull City, um, I think he scored over 20 goals last season, including all the goals for the um, the under 21s or reserves, whatever games we played in. Um, and he, and um, he's looking like a, a quality fox in the box. Um, so maybe if Fernandez goes, maybe he will. Um, get get more games because I know Van Hal likes to put youth um, youth players in, so maybe you get a lot of cup, a lot of League Cup games and maybe a few FA Cup and some lesser teams in, in the Premier League. Um, obviously with Van Persie, his injury record lately hasn't been great, and um, Rooney tends to pick up injuries from time to time, and we had both of them injured throughout the season, so we may possibly see another another centre forward come in, but. I would personally say we could give James Wilson a go. Um, there's no harm in giving him a, a, a go, at least in the League Cup, maybe. Um, it'd be great to hear what you think. Um, so really, to sum it all up, I would say probably um, a, a left-back's needed. Um, probably at least one centre-back. I mean, if there was a good quality right-back out there, get it. But um, Raphael may do a, do a job. Um, then probably two midfielders. And then possibly at least one, one or two wingers, and uh, I'll probably keep the strikers as, as they are. Um, probably, so probably five or six quality players are needed in order to get us back up to the top of that Premier League. If we get just two or three quality players in, it, it may be enough to finish second or third in the league, but might not be good enough to win the league. But we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, we get some transfer news soon, and um, I'll uh, give my responses to any um, transfer news that happens. Um, any players that are coming in or getting shown the back door um, and um, yeah just let me know uh, in the comment section below what you um, think which transfers you think should happen and um, take it easy